We're going to continue looking at the panels in Lightroom's Develop module. And in this video, we're going to really focus in on the Detail panel. The Detail panel has um, really three settings that we can change. The Sharpening, the Luminance Noise Reduction, and the Color Noise Reduction. So we're going to take a quick look at those three things. In our sharpening, we have an amount, which is how much sharpening it applies or how little sharpening it applies. And you can see that there are values already in this sharpening. Lightroom has default values, 41 and 25, that it starts with, um, which is a great place to start. And then we can kind of adjust from there. The more that we increase the amount, the more noise we end up introducing into our image. And so we need to be careful of how much we sharpen on this. The radius is really talking about how much of the edge it's going to grab to make it look sharper. Now, I want to sort of give this caveat real quick and say that sharpening is not taking an out of focus image and making it in focus. Sharpening is uh, adding some detail back into the edges that get lost a little bit on a digital sensor when it captures an image. So it's just sort of creating that that look and that feel of sharpness. It's not actually making the image sharper. It's just increasing contrast mostly on the edges. The third slider that we have is detail and detail will, will adjust how much detail we include when we are changing or modifying those edges. So when I work with sharpening, I like to go up to 100% zoom, which really represents one pixel of my image as one pixel of my screen. And then I'll come in and do my adjustments. So I'm gonna take the amount slider and slide it all the way to the side. And you can see that it's done a couple of things. It's desperately trying to make the image appear sharper. It's flattened it out. So you see if I slide it back down towards 40, the darker tones look a little bit deeper and richer here. When I slide it way up, the darker tones kind of become a little more gray and a little less black. We also have some noise that's going on in there. If I zoom in a little bit further, you can really see that noise, right? There's a texture across the entire image. As I bring that, that amount down, that noise really kind of gets softened back out. So I'm gonna go back to 100%. There's my 100% view. I can hold down the option key and as I slide, it's gonna make it black and white so that I can take the color out of the image and really just see what the sharpening is doing to my image. And so I'm gonna just adjust this over and say that that's probably pretty good for the sharpening on it. And then I'm going to adjust my radius. So you can see if I take my radius all the way out and I'll put my amount way up just so you can kind of see it. If I take my radius down, it doesn't apply quite as much. The edges don't get quite as much of a hit to them. And when I move it all the way up, the edges start to get um, what I call crunchy. They start to get really crunchy. There's like, a, like too much. If we go too much like we've done here, we start to get what's called haloing. And haloing is where there's actually sort of like a brighter edge on our image, like it's trying to make the dark side too bright and the or the dark side too dark and the bright side too bright right along that edge. And it kind of gives us this weird little outline glow. And we want to avoid that. So you can see as I bring my radius back, I can soften that glow out. So if you look at these leaves up here in this area, you can see that they have a, a white edge, like an outline to them. And as I bring my radius down, that white edge softens out and they start to look more like a continuous tone leaf. I can also soften that out by bringing my amount down, right? So this is a balance. We're looking for that balance between the two. If I hold down my option key while I'm doing my radius, you can see that it's gonna show me the parts that it's going to be affecting. And so I can slide it back and forth and kind of find exactly what I want it to get. And so the more things that are gray, the less things that are getting affected by this. So I'm going to kind of fall somewhere right, just maybe above one there. And then I have my detail, which is going to be the amount of detail that the edges see. And you can see that as I go to 100, it's going to expand that detail. 
and again, kind of flatten the image out. It's sort of taking some of the deeper tones and making them grayer. And as I go to the left, it's sort of uh, decreasing that detail and allowing less of our image to be sharpened. And again, if we hold down Option, we can see what those effects are. It's a much more subtler effect than Radius. And so we can kind of find that spot where we might want to sort of set it. And I think that maybe somewhere in there is going to be good. So I can do a before and after. Now that's going to go all the way back to another thing. So up here, this little tab is going to let me turn on and off just my sharpening or my detail. And so you can see that it's, it's subtle, but this image appears just a touch sharper. I think there might be still just a little too much noise. So I'm going to bring the, the amount down just a little bit. And I think that that's pretty good. So the next thing that we're going to talk about on this panel is our noise reduction. So we have luminance noise reduction, which is the, the monochrome noise reduction. So when we turn the amount up on our sharpening, we ended up getting noise. And we can reduce that noise with our luminance noise reduction. But as you might imagine, as we reduce the amount of noise, we can also end up softening our image. So if I slide this all the way up, our image loses that detail that we just put in on the edges of all of the things. It loses the detail throughout our image. And so we want to be very careful of our luminance that we don't take too much of it out and soften our image back up. We also have the ability to change our color noise. So you may notice when you zoom in on an image, let's scroll over and look at some of these tree trunks. And maybe we can see something that's going on in there. Uh, maybe not too much. I'm going to turn the color... Ah, there we go. So I brought my color noise reduction down. And now you can see that there's color noise in my image. There's cyan and magenta or cyan and red that's kind of popping up in my image. And so I can change that by adjusting my color noise slider to eliminate that color noise. And so what we want to do with that is we really want to sort of smooth that out just enough to get rid of those that color cast that's in there and, and allow it to sort of come up and, and be a little bit more neutral and not have that, that odd color cast going on to it. Now, um, we can use the detail slider to sort of retain the detail so it doesn't soften it out too much. And we can use the smoothness slider um, to sort of smooth out the effect. And so you can adjust those and kind of find the balance that works the best for your image. Um, most images, raw images, are going to need some sort of color noise reduction uh, to make them look uh, less blotchy. In the, in, a lot of times in the shadows, it, it pops up. And so you just want to adjust that color slider. So with the detail, we have our sharpening, we have our luminance noise reduction, and we have our color noise reduction.